Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So in this video we are going to get started with Elasticsearch, a little bit introduction then we will see the Next.js integration with Elasticsearch. Okay, so what we have done here is we have added Elasticsearch as a service like same as the Postgres, Redis, RabbitMQ. You can add Elasticsearch as a service, container name and the environment variables. Right, so when we do the docker compose up, I can see the Elasticsearch up and running and I can access that on port 9200. So that is the only change we have done from our previous project. So this was our project. Uh, we just updated the docker compose override. So we can see that uh, Elasticsearch is now up and running from container. Okay, and we can also access the Elasticsearch uh, here. You can just say, say hello to Elasticsearch on port 9200. That means your Elasticsearch, I mean, this is this was our cluster node, single node cluster that is up and running. Okay. Now, what we need to do is we need to have the post index created there, and post will have some kind of a data that we will create through APIs and then we will expose search APIs which will actually do the search from the Elasticsearch. Okay, there are three things. First, we need to create index, then we need to feed the data to the Elasticsearch. Either you synchronize the Postgres with Elasticsearch or whenever you are doing a create on the Postgres, update the, create the data in the Elasticsearch also. Whenever you are updating the data in the Postgres through the APIs, update the data in the Elasticsearch also because Elasticsearch is nothing but can be accessed through the REST APIs. Elasticsearch is a search engine based, uh, built on top of Lucene, Apache. Uh, it's actually a search engine and it is exposing these REST APIs to do the search, create index, feed the data, update index, delete index, update record, delete record. It's like NoSQL based, right? We will talk about Elasticsearch in depth maybe in different playlist. But this is a simple Elasticsearch running. Now what we can do is we can create the index. Okay, so let's say index means you can call it as a database. Okay, so we are going to create one index. Let's say posts. Okay, this is a put call and what data you wanted to insert inside a post. Okay, so what we will do here is uh, it should be a post mapping and it's like a docs. And here we will pass the payload, okay, what all things we have in the Postgres based on that we can decide what all things we are going to have in our database based on the same, based on the same thing we can actually construct the schema for our index. So if we see the app, domain, entity, I'll just look into this and we have I think title, title, email, social links, tags and all. So here I will just create an object. So here it is a title. Test and uh, let's say email is also there. So we have email and then uh, let's say tags. Tags is uh, an object any object which contains let's say tag and it has this hello property so it is like an array of object we have a title and then there is a text property also there which has a long description Okay, so this is what we have. Why it is complaining here? Okay, we can create the index something like this. You can send a, in a particular document and posts. So what it will do is it will create the, the post index and it will also generate this document. Okay. Invalid type on exception, mapping type name underscore docs can't we start with underscore it should be document 
and we are doing post yeah so this particular index has been created right now we can also get the mapping of this particular index because this is by default we created the index without specifying the mapping we just had a json document okay this is this is the data we are going to put in our index so what will be the mapping in this particular case the elastic search will generate so this is the default indexing default you can say the mapping schema mapping has been generated by elastic search you can see all the attributes email is there tag is there uh, text is there and title right so this is the default schema mapping we have created you can actually modify this you delete this index and what you can do you can create a new one by specifying the the new index right i mean new schema so this is the default schema you got now you can modify this schema what the schema contains first of all email is of type text so uh, per a string can be of type text and keyword so it will do the full text search on the email same thing on the tag uh, this is also of type string of type text so these all are the full text search okay so we got these four attributes right now you can actually keep uh, dumping the data in our index let's say i have post and here i will say doc and you can keep adding the data you want right uh, so this document is created you can also pass some id if you have some id already there so let's say if i'm putting this id this id there now i can just keep changing this attribute so what i'm doing is i'm creating a documents inside the posts database and these are the uh, documents no sql documents i'm creating okay so now when you do the get you would be able to see all the document on or whenever you do the search like i'm doing a search here and for the search you have to specify the criteria right so if you just post it without the body right uh, let me just so what it is doing it is not searching anything it, what it will do is it will dump all the 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 records you have created okay so this is the index post you can see all the records you have created when you do the default search right the number of records total and all these things number of hits total we got the six records right so this is how we can do and whenever we are creating an individual index we are passing this unique id i will just see this so you can actually append a particular uuid or have some record id which you have in the postgres and you can keep copying the the data i mean the records which you are inserting so what we just did is we created a post index we populated some record now we can actually hit the search query here same thing we are going to uh, populate through the postgres there is a rest api hit postgres and will update the data create the record in the elastic search okay then there is a search api will hit will directly hit the elastic search to search the data and it will give the response we can also get the mappings uh, we can already see the mappings of posts this will give the schema mapping of our post right uh, we can create one particular profile i mean one particular record inside a posts so that is simple you actually do the posts is my index name document and the id this can be the uuid and here you just pass your your json object for that particular post like we specified email title and all these things okay for the simple search you can just say here uh, let's see i have posts and i'm searching for title title is my title is string right so it should give me the, the matching criteria data where the title is having name string okay so what was that testing because this is the exact word search if we just see what all data we have already inserted then we should be able to get the 
the records. Let's see what data we have inserted. Text was like hello, right? So there is nothing like that testing word. And title was having test. Okay. So try to search again. And if we just put test here and trying to do the search. So here we should be getting the record, right? Because the title is test. Similarly, you can put email should be matching with that, right? So there are different kind of analyzer and tokenizer you can add while defining the schema mapping. I mean the search behavior you want. Sometimes we want, okay, I'm just typing only TE and I want a search results for matching all the words having the TE character or the email is having the TE, right? Uh, similarly, you can just do with the search with the text. Text is, let's say this is a particular word, right? Particular sentence having multiple words. So it should match with the blog also, right? Because it is going to tokenize all these words. Hello, my blog post. And we are able to see the search results coming. Okay. So what we will do is we, talk, we talked about creating the index. We didn't create the index mapping. We just created a simple index and Elasticsearch has generated a default mapping for us. But what we want is while creating this index, we wanted to specify our own mapping. That also you can do is you can just create a put and here you specify your mapping. In which you can specify your analyzer, tokenizer and all the types of types and properties. So that we will do in the next video. We will just specify the, the mappings for our post index and it will actually then we will insert the data according to the same structure okay let's see that in the next video uh, thanks everyone